Florence Nightingale was the founding figure of modern nursing. Despite coming from an elite background, she dedicated her life to helping and aiding those in need. She is highly noted for assistance in the Crimean War and her efforts to reform nursing into what we know of it today. Florence Nightingale single-handedly pioneered modern nursing and reformed hospital environments into conditions identical to our current systemization, thus influencing the methods of practice for many nurses and doctors across the globe, now and for centuries to come. Although Florence Nightingale is now considered the pioneer of modern medicine, that does not include the obstacles she had to overcome in her early life in order to achieve her goals. Starting off, Florence Nightingale was born in Florence, Italy on May 12, 1820 and is the younger of two children. Nightingale was a part of an elite family who was extremely connected within various social circles and her parents often clashed with her over her strong-willed nature. That is already a telltale sign of her natural-born leadership instinct. While Nightingale's father was a wealthy landowner, her mother was an extremely social woman within a family of merchants. Although her family supplied her with some of the finest education, Nightingale was very active in philanthropy due to her caring for the ill and poor civilians in neighboring villages. Nightingale believed her divine purpose was to help others and despite her parents' disapproval of the path she was adamant to follow, she still was determined to pursue her true calling, nursing. Nightingale even went as far as to refuse a marriage proposal from a man by the name of Richard Mounds, despite the fact that he was her intellectual equal and he stimulated her romantically, she knew that if she conformed to her mother and father's idealistic views, then she would never be fully satisfied with her life. Afterwards, she proceeded to enroll in as a nursing student in a German hospital in 1844. In the midst of 1854, the growing Crimean War broke out, putting the Russians up against the British, French, and Ottoman Turks. Alarming reports of soldiers dying of sickness rampaged through towns across Europe. A newspaper correspondent, William Russell, cited the poor treatment of the wounded. He called upon the women of England, who he said should be willing to aid the sick. The water was extremely contaminated, rodents and bugs infested rooms, and medical supplies were scarce. These devastating conditions triggered the spread of infectious diseases throughout the camps. In fact, soldiers were 10 times more likely to die from diseases such as cholera and typhus than from battle wounds. With no utensils, soap, or towels, the environment at the hospital was dreadful. There were only 14 baths for approximately 2,000 men. On October 21, 1854, Florence Nightingale, who was accompanied by 38 other nurses, embarked on a mission to administer aid to the disease-stricken troops. Nightingale answered the request to heal the battlefield from horrendous matters, reaching Scrutari on November 4th. Upon arriving, she noticed the atrocious settings that plagued the war hospitals. These appalling surroundings motivated her to substantially improve the toxic atmosphere. She remained upon her feet for 20 hours a day. She provided the troops with an enormous supply of Turkish towels, soap, clean shirts, and eating necessities. Nightingale even created a system of record keeping as she monitored the mortality rate, which would provide sufficient information on the improvements of sanitation. Ironically, in early months, the death rate actually rose because of various defects. Despite the difficulties, she led her fellow nurses and worked vigorously to bring order. She was able to bring enhancements to the standards of sanitation, nutrition, and the activity in the hospital. The death rate fell tremendously. Florence Nightingale's astounding efforts in the Crimean War would ultimately save countless lives and lead her to earning her distinguished title as the Lady with the Lamp. After the Crimean War, Nightingale wrote books about matters concerning health and efficiency in the hospital. She also wrote about her experiences in the war and suggested reforms for the nursing hospitals and the military. One of the books she wrote was called Notes on Nursing, where she explained her nursing experiences and the standards of nursing.
In 1860, she proposed a statistical system to the International Statistical Conference, which is now widely accepted as International Classification of Diseases. In this system, she refers to the evaluation of medical care, cost effectiveness, cost benefit, and utilization reviewed to prove her point. Her success with these reports led to improvements of the sanitary conditions and the establishment of Army Medical College. In addition, during this time period, she established the Nightingale School of Nursing, which was located in St. Thomas Hospital. She continued to remain an advocate of health reform by publishing more notes on how to properly run hospitals. As a result, she was often consulted about how to manage hospitals. Despite the fact that Nightingale had never been to India, she was seen as an authority on issues pertaining to public sanitation. In addition, during the American Civil War, she was asked by doctors and nurses from different countries for advice. Throughout the remaining of her life, she helped establish various nursing organizations and received multiple awards for her work. Some of these awards are the French Gold Medal of Secours Oblice Militaire, the German Order of the Cross of Merit, the Badge of Honor of the Norwegian Red Cross Society, the Honorary Freedom of the City of London, and she was the first woman to be awarded the Order of Merit. Florence Nightingale has left an everlasting mark on our medical society. She has made it to where doctors and nurses are aware of unsanitary conditions and now promote cleanliness to hospitals all around the world. Her concern for the good of the hospitals and the ill patients who came in to be cured was out of her nobility. She saw the conditions of hospitals and immediately sought to bring improvements that have played a major role in hospitals to this day. Hospitals and emergency rooms are characterized as safe and sanitary, whereas the ones in her time, the 1800s, happened to have rots, fleas, and blocked drains slash plumbing. Nobody really cared about repairing the hospitals like she did. She inserted emphasis on proper human care methods to mark the beginning of purity while dealing with the human body. Finding ways of disinfecting was her first priority, and because she found it, her discoveries lived on for years. Nowadays, hospitals are inspected for gruesome concepts, but back then they suffered from epidemics and pests in the hospital. Visiting hospitals and quests to teach others about the importance of cleanliness and influence them to take action. Those nurses passed their knowledge on to their co-workers until it reached us today. The fact that Florence Nightingale wrote a book called Notes on Nursing that explained the appropriate procedures to treat humans is spontaneous. It's basically left behind a how-to for taking care of others. Even though the hospitals in her time were pretty unpleasant, she strives to ensure that we were offered beneficial medical help. Reasons for high quality hospitals now are because of how much she stressed tidiness for years, giving us the benefit of the doubt. Florence Nightingale was the definition of a dedicated Samaritan who put others before herself at desperate times. Just like just yesterday, she was busting her brain trying to figure out how to secure the environment and her assistance brought about healthcare. Hospitals are more reliable, clean, and have precise structures for examination processes. Patients normally receive a checkup so they are aware of the state of their own bodies. Overall, Florence Nightingale's long nights of pondering and work paid off, showing her trailblazing attributes as the mother of modern nursing.